A pair of jeans, a shirt or two We didn't pack as if we weren't then going back It doesn't matter if it's true I've got a feeling love will give us what we like The world is waiting up The world is waiting half a step beyond our door And if it's not enough I want to see the stuff the world has got in store uh, I want to take it all in, I'm falling The cityscape by night, want to catch in my photos Where you go, every corner twice as bright There'll be my treasures forever When I can't hold you tight, I'll see the Stockholm lights The Stockholm lights, the Stockholm lights a year away like the seconds the beginning and the end uh -huh. but if in time it's yesterday your picture's gonna bring it home to me again the world is waiting up the world is waiting half a step beyond our door oh. and if it's not enough See the stuff the world has got in store. I wanna take it all in, I'm falling. The cityscape by night, wanna catch in my photos. Where you go, every corner twice as bright. There'll be my treasures forever. When I can't hold you tight, I'll see the Stockholm lights. The Stockholm lights, the Stockholm lights. Whoops, one too early. <laughs> my bad. What's going on, guys? Uh, I'm trying to get a few new things here. I need, to, I need to fix my screen up here. I realize there's a black hole up there, but uh, I've got something that's going to eventually go back there. So we'll just deal with it tonight. I'm trying to redo some things and uh, bring some new stuff in there. So, uh, yeah, it's good to see everybody, man. I feel like it has been like forever and a day, so I apologize for not being live for a few days. I've been uh, uh, busy for one, but uh, doing a lot of other things, which hopefully you'll see in the chat. I've been trying to restructure iRacing, Forza, uh, American Trucks, and all kinds of stuff, man. So um, I'm excited about it. But I'm always nervous about it because it just takes time to do it. And sometimes the only time I actually get to work on that is like, you know, at night. So something always has to give. So uh anyway man let's throw some shout outs here man thank you guys for being patient with me this week there brian king what's up man nick good to see you there um uh what's been an old timer was in there early ch chatting away there cody as well who's alito z bullet good to see guys ice maverick and uh jay melden who's alito what's up man uh let's see trip tb what's up alex connor jeremy what's up my friend good to see you there bud uh Kevin, what's up, man? I am doing well, man. Thunder Wolf, what's up? Devlin, what's up? Good to see you guys. Trip J. Patrick D. Lodi's Hollage, what's up, man? Good to see you, man. Chris, what's up? Good to see you, Chris Buchanan, a.k.a. The Buddy Man. <laughs> Travis, what's going on, buddy? Good to see you, man. Kathy Wells, hello, hello from me and Devin. Well, hello, Kathy and Devin. Hope you guys are doing good. Uh, Ethan, PC Specs, and all stream stuff is all down in the description, pal. Pretty much everything you want to know is down there. Uh, knowing you know what's up buddy good to see you, man john wick yes the day has gone by pretty quick actually but it's been a good day man what's going on there ultimate dub three what's up yeah well, of course we see we see everybody trip it's no no surprise to you man gary Cole, what's going on buddy how are you man zach i'm curious man with you child guys in chat here only just I, i'm just gonna wait about another minute i still need to get my countdown and some other uh stuff around i also got ftr motorsports up there see that's how that's how far behind i am so let's just we'll kill that for right now <laughs> trying to do like i'm trying to consolidate all my stuff so i don't have to keep multiple things going on at the same time it makes it really hard to do that so uh anyway no 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 major new mods for 140 yet um we've only got a few you know uh regular stuff it's still in its infancy i can tell today there's a big change and uh in this just the way the overall brightness and uh and probably the look of everything a 140 is which is kind of a shame 
Uh, but it's funny, Brian. You know, you say where track I are. The other guys say, ah, we go three screens. And other guys say, you know what? Just play it on a potato. I'll love it even more. I, I, I can't do it all at the same time. I didn't mean to completely pause that. Uh, at any rate, I'll tell you what, we'll just go ahead and we'll zip that. Let's run this intro. Let's kind of dive into this. We'll showcase the new setup. Um, and then I'll kind of show you what I have been working on. And hopefully for those, I don't have the track IR up right now, but I'll tell you kind of, I'm trying to do the best for everybody. And that's including myself. Um, but, uh, hopefully you guys will like what we've done with the stream, like what we've done with the place. Anyway, let's roll this wonderful intro uh done by one of my dear very dear friends here in the discord uh he knows who he is although i don't shout people out usually that do things like this because then they get barraged with things but he knows who he is stay clear stay stay tuned here for this awesome intro i'll see you on the flip side Kaboom! All right. Well, here we are. So you can see we got a lot of different things in here. I got so many compliments from people out of the Discord said, hey, I love the Forza. Uh, I actually got really good views on that. Uh, I was kind of surprised because typically games like that do not really do well at all. Um, so if you were one of the ones that watched that video, thank you guys very much. I do appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed it. It was a little bit of a just kind of a like, let's just go do it. And we'll just kind of see where we have kind of fall. And so we realized there were some areas that we could have picked up, you know, some better stuff and could have done some different things. So, you know, being the first one, there's just so much stuff to do. It's kind of like, well, we'll just kind of take a stab at it. And we'll see what happens. Um, so anyway, thank you guys for coming and watching that. And uh, the Stone Call was up. Love you too. Uh, and uh, so, yeah, so it's a, it's, so anyway, it's been a little bit of a journey trying to get from new PC to like, okay, well, now I can kind of actually do all of these things. Um, stream wise, so you'll see what I've been working hard on. I've been working hard on this bad boy right here. Uh, I made a, a custom box to be basically be able to house my trucking stuff. It comes off my rig with just two simple bolts. Uh, but I've got oil pressure, which is fully functional in ATS right now. I'll try to get a little close up. You guys can see this here in, uh, in SIM fuel gauge completely, uh, is, is functional with ATS and also water temps are completely functional. Uh, and those serve like two or three fold. One for trucking was fine, um, but also for racing and just Forza because all of those games will output that telemetry and pretty much anything I said, of Corsa, uh, any of the dirt rally stuff if you want these. So I got the classic pro comp, just the classic gauges. Uh, I'm waiting on attack to get here for mainly for like eye racing and stuff. And we're going to have a speedometer. So that'll be right here. And so this camera guy right here. Uh, is going to catch the screen and then it'll catch those two gauges right here. So we kind of got like this little mesh of all these kind of really cool things uh, kind of coming into all of this. So, um, so yeah, so it's, it's good, man. I hope you guys enjoy this. Now, one thing I want to say, and I have to throw this disclaimer out there before we kind of like get into today. Um, the, 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 the one thing that, um, that I'm trying to do is trying to figure out how do I, how do I please the guys that like three wide how do I please the guys that want to see close-ups of different things? And I made the thing like Kathy and Devin said, hey, I would love to see more of the box and like shifter. Keep that camera. Like, I like that camera. And people are like, I like over the shoulder. Some people are like, well, I really like just seeing the standard view. I don't want to see all the fancy stuff. Um, I just want to see track IR. A guy already, you know, he already had uh, said, hey, I, won't, <laughs> I want to see track IR. So they don't have track hour, but what I have done is I've pulled it out of the multi-monitor mode, which splits all the views up. So the sides look a little bit skewed, um, but I'm willing to deal with it because it gives you guys a really huge, nice, wide field of view on that top screen. So you actually get the center monitor plus about 25% of my left and right monitor all in one widescreen cinematic view, which hopefully to you guys watching is going to look really good. And it's also going to keep you in the action and everybody else has said, and I might be able to do track hour with that, at least a little bit of movement. I'll just kind of have to see how we get along. So anyway, that is like what we got going on for right now. And we'll kind of see how things go. Um, and if I make some changes, we'll make them, you know, a little bit at a time. But I'm really trying my best to try to like get everybody out there taken care of, if at all possible. Um, it makes building drives and that kind of stuff a little bit hard. But since I built this, now my mouse is on my left hand. So if you see me stick my hand through my wheel like this to grab the mouse, don't don't say anything. Just roll with me, okay? Just roll with it. It's all right. <laughs> it's one of those things. So, uh, yes, don't call it. Any, anybody is, uh, is free and welcome to do that. So, uh, really, anybody, as long as 
as long as people come in and just just respect everybody, man. That, that's really the only thing that we uh, that we really require, man. Deuce, what's up, man? Um, Eddie, what's happening, man? Good to see you there. Texas Trucker Gaming. Thank you there, man. Appreciate it. Uh, Nathan Blaze, what's up? Dave Dub the Storm. Hello, hello. Elijah, what's up, man? We're we'll doing well. Xavier. Uh, the gauge cluster, yeah. Well, yes, it is custom. Um, yeah, I made this. I actually made it myself. That's really, I'm proud of this one because nobody else made that. I made that. Um, except I brought the gauges and I've, you know, hooked everything up. Um, bought the necessary components, done all the wiring myself, which is not extremely, like, really crazy hard to do um a little bit of research on uh the youtubeage and um and yeah so we're we're like we're rolling so uh so yeah so anyway you guys are basically getting to see if you're looking at the bottom center screen you're getting to see from here to like here so that's your center view so you're getting about 25 so anyway i hope this looks good with you guys rolling down the street um we'll just kind of see how things go so pete what's up man welcome to the stream Good to see you guys in there. Robert Dirtbike, what's up, man? Big Jim, what's up? David, good to see you guys. Defense as well, man. Good to see you as well. Yeah, yeah dude. I, I don't know. I saw that one in there. I've got a better one. It's flipped to white, and it's and it's. Uh, the problem is, is the logo is small in the canvas, so that is not a dynamic box. <laughs> so the box is really big. The logo is small. So if I crop the logo out, it looks right. I just picked the wrong one. <laughs> so. That's why I said we're still a little bit of a work in progress, so we'll we'll see how we get along. <laughs> um, let's see. Let me. Um, one thing that I've uh, found out pretty quick here is that the lights are do not seem to very be very bright, if at all, uh, in the Kenworth. I know there were some things that supposedly got fixed. Um, this update though seems to have really dulled down the clouds. I'm not sure if anybody really has been in 140 a lot here. But the clouds seem pretty much non-existent. Um, they were like, uh, I want to say they were kind of like a a half JBX-ish. Now they're kind of back to where they were. And I hope they didn't go back resource-wise and just use some new clouds. But it really looks different in this in this reiteration of 140, which I like staying in the betas. Just so you guys, if you're not really following it, you kind of get to see how the de development's following along with it. So. Um, yeah, Trigger, they're very cute. Yeah, 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 they're cute, I guess. I'm not sure if cute's a cut down or if that's uh, supposed to mean something, but I don't know. King Trigger, what's up, man? Adam, what's up? Good to see you, man. Greg Cooks, hello. Well, thank you, man. Appreciate it. Thank you there, Kyle. Yeah, well, it all works. I mean, it's kind of, you know, the oil pressure goes up. And it follows the uh, it follows the oil pressure here on, on, on uh, screen as well. So that's pretty cool. Fuel's right. Uh, the cool thing is, is the SIB gauge, uh, you know, the, the, the board that I use, the, I guess the program that I use is, um, it uh, needs to know how many gallons are in there. So when, I, when you change up uh, exactly how many uh, different little things that you're using for uh, your, uh, like frames for tanks and that kind of stuff. So if you do pick a lot of different tank variances and stuff, then you got to make sure you put the right, you got to put the right uh, gauge in there. Because if not, it's going to screw you up. <laughs> <laughs> so. What's up, Raheem? How are you, man? Yeah, 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 dude. And I and it's crazy because I've taken a lot more mods out too, um, just to try to make sure that I stay clean, you know, with the game. Uh, you know, besides sound and tires, those seem to still work really well. Um, but yeah, dude. I mean, it's. It, I was kind of disappointed today. I was like, wow. I feel like we've reverted a little bit, um, which I was not really necessarily expecting to see. Uh, especially after what we got dealt with the initial the initial part man I was like dude this is going to be amazing if this is where we're starting I can't wait to, to see where we wind up you know but what it is I was talking to some buddies I said you know I mean no offense to the guys on potatoes but I'm sure there were a lot of complainers of people that said hey I can't run this game you guys are going to have to do something and they were like well I guess we can dumb it down a little bit and um, and then here we are because I mean we're still you know, I still got the graphics pushed up there. I basically pulled all the ambient occlusion away so that you don't have all of that, like, really deep contrasty stuff where the blacks are so black, you know? Uh, but yeah, man, we just don't have that cloud pop. I'm like, man, I miss it. I need it. I need it in my life. So JBX might still wind up being a really good formidable, uh, <laughs> a formidable lobster for guys that need it. <laughs> oh, man. What's up, Connor? How are you, man? All right, water temp's coming up there, so we're up around about 170-ish. 
And we're 170 on the gauge there, which is pretty cool. Hey, Kyle Thurgood. Thank you, man. Appreciate it, buddy. Oh, we got to go here. Yay. What's up, little Barky? How are you, man? I'm on C-Pain. What's up, man? Yeah, it feels weird. I know. I know it feels weird. I'm like, look at all these great trucks. I'm like, and I tried so hard to get Pingus to work, but he's got some crazy stuff going on in the mirrors and all this other stuff. I was like, yeah, I'm not going to push it, man. <laughs> I'm not going to push it at all. Always leave the Jake Breck on, man. See, you see what I mean, guys? I get creamed in chat if I if I have the Jake if I don't have the Jake Breck on, then then I get it again if I leave it on. <laughs> so typical, man. So typical. Let's see. Oh, we do have the windows rolled down. Okay. I, it felt a little uh, felt a little light for me, but you know. All right, so we got a heavy haul trailer, so we're going to pick up uh, some heavy hauls today. Uh, we were just rolling the uh, the heavy haul trailer there from uh, SES. We'll give you an outside view here. If y'all see me looking over to the right here, since I've got it on this multi-monitor mode, it's it's kicked my map way over here. So, yeah, we're going all the way to the real export too. Yeah, this is a man of Kenworth, honestly, dude. It's a it's a really good truck. I still like the SES version. Especially now with the triple axle, it looks really mean now. It's not just a, a reefer runner. Yeah, Western Star is good, man. I heard they did some uh, doctoring up on the sounds on that truck. I haven't actually listened to the, the naked sounds, but still not really hoping for the best, you know what I mean? What's going on, asphalt? <laughs> yeah, don't be going. <laughs> that's what I mean, you know? Uh, that's the way it goes, man. That's just the way it is. Things will never be the same. I think there's somebody wrote a song like that. Somebody out there knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> He's not impressed. It knows any different. Yeah, I and mean, that's what you know. That's what somebody said. Whether or not they actually did anything, you know, you never know. You never know. Better still, does, but not great. Yeah. Well, I don't think it was ever going to get great until the guys even came over here to, um, until they came over here to record it. So I'm not exactly sure where their base of sounds was coming from anyway. You know what I'm saying? All right. I hate pulling these triple, triple wide heavies here in the rail export, especially this one. I don't mind the ones in uh, Colorado and Washington and stuff, but these stink. I think we got the uh, log stacker. Yeah, man, I love the forestry DLCs. We're taking a little load over here to Salt Lake, and 120k on here, so that ought to that ought to appease our heavy haul uh, heavy haul guys. I don't do this a lot. We typically just run easy stuff back and forth because we're usually showing something off. I guess we can show stuff off. You know, if you've never uh, seen some of these DLCs, they're worth their uh, they're worth getting into. So, <laughs> how many axles do you want? Yes. That's not an answer. No, that's still not an answer. <laughs> What's up, Master Dork Gallery, man? John Wick's up. Uh, we're going to see, man, we had a ton of people rolled out, and they were like, man, I'd love to come, but I just have not rolled back to 139, and I don't really have another profile, and I'm just not fooling with it. I was like, eh, this is what always happens, and it's fine. There's always, like, half the guys that stay, uh, half the guys that go, and so it's fine. It is what it is. Yeah, man, that's what you call a muscle load right there, man. I like this one. Of course, I've never seen a log stacker like that. That must be a European one. Ours are always way more, way more raw over here in the states. <laughs> All right, let's go. Uh, let's go use some fuel. What's up, Proper Rocks? Yeah, I've seen that, David. I've seen that, man. It gets addicting, man. Be careful. Before you know it, you know, you've got 20 skins. of like, I could do more. I could do more. This right here for turns, it'd be nice to have track IR. But I'll use the, uh, I'll use these views. They're fine. They'll be all right. Uh, so no harsh. So okay. So uh, well, that's a good question. So if anybody wants 
my logistics skins and if you're especially if you're with a company like if you if you don't like them and you don't like roller company and stuff like it's fine it's not ftg logo stuff uh, but it is our company united logistics stuff so i've got one basically for all of the defaults minus like the lone star and the western star i haven't done those yet uh, but pretty much all the rest of them are done and i've probably got about 10 trucks and these are ranged from paywares to um, all of the, you know, some of the freewares and stuff like this that I've done. Um, all those are in our Discord under FTG Paint Jobs. It's at the very top. And um, if you guys want to join those, if you want to grab those skins, they're totally free and available. I've got some in there for, um, like, uh, the company master packs, like for um, John Ruda's uh, trailer, Bart's payware trailer. I've got a payware skin pack for those. I've got the FTR Motorsports to go with the iRacing. Like, I've got, like, three or four different master packs of skins that I've done. So, if you guys want those, man, go ahead and, you know, grab them up. I mean, they're there for y'all's taking, so. Just join into the Discord and then scroll through that. Anywhere you see a link, grab it. What's up, Kales? How are you, buddy? How are you, man? Good to see you, man. Hope you had a good, a good Star Citizen weekend. Like, that boy's been playing some Star Citizen this weekend. <laughs> Yeah, nothing today, Tony. We're still just heavy haul today. We're not uh, we're not doing any special transport today. So, uh, was it hard to set them up, Flyboy? Eh, no, not really. Um, pretty easy. You just kind of gotta know what the gauge is and how to you know how to best uh, how to set it up. Um, sometimes it gets a little generic, uh, but uh, for the most part, I mean, you gotta know what to buy it too. But the configuration is not that hard. Uh, so the Discord joined, Pete. There it goes. So the Discord joins down in the description. So you just click the link. It's browser-based or app-based. You can use phone or you know an app on your uh, on your browser. And that's all you got to do to join. If you want to donate, click on the uh, Streamlabs uh, link, which is there, which is a better uh, rate uh, than what you'll get through like using a uh, super chats. Uh, you can do that one. You can do PayPal through Streamlabs. You can do credit card through Streamlabs. Uh, got about as many options as you can. Or you click the join button and become a member and sponsor for four bucks a month, whichever. It's uh, your choice, man. Oh, shoot. <laughs> no, I didn't down south. And I, um, do I, I know I have it in here. Oh, I know what happened. Oh, it got, my game capture got put over it. <laughs> Whoops, okay, there it is. Sorry. My bad. <laughs> yeah, so we're we're uh we're about we're about halfway there, so after the last one. I haven't streamed in like four days. It's felt really weird not streaming. Robin, what's up? Sebastian, what's up? Did you have a dream of truck in real life? No. Uh actual little barky basically I started off in uh ETS2. Because it wasn't that I didn't mind or didn't like ATS. I just liked ETS because it was different. So I started driving ETS for a bit and um, and liked it. So um, I was like, well, it was fun. I mean, I really love is, is flight sim. And I never really had any dreams to be a truck driver. I still don't. I just enjoy playing the game. Um, enjoy playing the game. I enjoy that, you know, guys want to come, you know, check out the content for it. It's pretty relaxed, you know. You don't have to like work super hard to like fake your way through content uh it's pretty much there you just gotta download it or sometimes buy it but it's not like some of these other ones where you gotta role play so much just come up with new content every day you know like farm sim like i mean i hats off to the guys that do the legit role play farm sim to do well at it i can't get behind the guys that just time lapse gameplay like i find that just really cheap but that's me that's my personal opinion i don't watch those guys on youtube anyway um, but the ones that, that do actual do role play, it's freaking tough, man. Coming up with scenarios for every video that you do, it's ridiculous, man. It's ridiculous. <laughs> Z Bullet, yes, this is the default 900. It's actually a really, really good truck. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, it might look a little long because see what you guys are seeing. So uh, for those guys who just came in, what you guys are seeing is you're seeing my center monitor plus 25% of each monitor beside it. So you're seeing an extremely stretched out version uh, of, of what's going on here. So 
Um, hey, thank you there, man. Digging the new layout there. Thank you there, big homie Mac. Appreciate it, man. 35 on the donation there, moving the bar up. And Brian King, where's my, where's my alerts? What the heck is happening here? Oh, my gosh. Hang on a minute. This is driving me nuts. See, these are the things that you can only test. <laughs> you can only test this stuff when you've got all the way up here. Oh, I know what happened. Crap, man. God, I was such noob moves here. Such noob moves. All right, whoops. Let's go one more. Okay, now let's try that one again, and let's see if it pops up. Ah, there we go. There we go. So there's David. All right. <laughs> Appreciate it, man. There is uh, Big Homie Mac. Let's see that one coming in. There it is. <laughs> oh, man. I hate when I do stuff like this. But hey, it's, you, you got you to gotta have his stuff. You got to know it. So, Brian King there. Zach Peterson there. Appreciate it, man. There's your super chat as well, man. Appreciate it, guys. And I think got David's, yes, Brian's, and big homies. All right, man. And Kyle, thank you there for your sponsor as well. I think I, we did uh, hear yours. I, we just didn't see it. So, anyway, there it is, man. All right. Sweet. Thank you, guys. <laughs> now we now we good. Now we good, I think. <laughs> all right. Let's, let's see what we look like behind us here. Oh, now it's going to run all of them again. Sunset still look good. Um, you'll notice that we actually have a sun still, which is good. We still have a sun in the map, which is really nice. So, anyway, there we go, man. Uh, if you put a new hard drive, yes. So if you put a, uh, if you put a, if you put a brand new like a SSD or something like that, yes, you will need to put a brand new uh, copy of Windows on it. You can migrate. Um, some people will, you know, install the hard drive beside it if they have time or have space and they'll move things over. Leave one as a boot drive and the other one like as a gaming play drive. Uh, there's a couple different options. Just make sure if you do, you create research creating a, like a bootable disk drive uh, from USB and that way it'll, it'll cleanly go in and install another copy of Windows pretty painlessly and effortlessly. Uh, beta 1.4, relax, man. Yes, sir. Hey, well, thank you there, David. Appreciate it, man. Thanks for the donation, buddy. I appreciate it, as always, man. And plus, I think TB was here as well. Husky, what's up, man? And, uh, yeah, see the lights just seem really, really, I don't know. We'll, we'll get a feel for the lights here. Um, and David are from the UK, so those guys are up either super early in the morning or they're up super late, whichever one you fancy. So, uh, Baker, I'm not sure when he's releasing them. It's good to see him up to 140, um, but I have no idea when he's releasing the next one. He just kind of works on those, and then he did update. Uh, he did update Arizona Flagstaff. He did do that one time. Yeah, Husky man, I know, dude. I know. And, and I, I'm not sure if that's a resource thing. I'm not sure what that is. Um, you know, you know what I'm saying, man. Yeah, 2:30. I still, I still, I'm, I'm at least an hour early for you now, David. I used to be a lot worse than that. It used to be an hour later. Man, we are rolling with this. <laughs> oh yeah, bull pressure. Water tip gauges came up a little bit there. Uh, yeah, so Josh, this is the beta for 1.40, which is going to be coming out in more than likely like a couple weeks. Once 1.40 updates completely, I would be on the lookout for new DLC release. Now, I don't know that they're going to release one with 1.40, but it would be pretty standard of them after they do an update. Uh, some after they do an updated, um, uh, what you call it, an updated. Um, version it would be pretty uh, pretty normal for them to start go ahead and start pushing the next stake which is wyoming then after that it's going to be a throwdown between whether or not we're going to get texas or whether or not they're going to do montana before they flip out texas they've already announced they're working on texas so everybody knows that but they haven't necessarily released it that's what's coming up next so yeah uh, josh yeah it is so it's a test beta um so i've got uh an ample of videos and you honestly could search you know how to join uh, a public beta for ATS, and it'll it'll give you plenty of uh, of options. It's super simple. 
He just re-downloads re the game. I usually tell people do it without mods. That way, or at least very, very, very few. No trucks on this one, no trailers on this one, no realistic graphics mods on this one, no realistic mirror mods, light mods, anything that deals with lights, graphics, trucks, and trailers, kick them. The rest of the stuff, you should be, for the most part, pretty okay. So. And I don't even have, do I even have beacons? I do on the very back. I need to put them on my truck. It's so terrible. I'm such a terrible streamer. I'm just kidding. <laughs> hey, thanks, Bear. Appreciate it, man. It's nice, man, I, you know, getting to see my gauges and actually see them work and stuff. The, the tack and the, the mile per hour, I just don't have my box built for this one yet because um, I've got to do something with my mouse. I think I'm just going to put a little console table over here, like uh, build one. Um, where I can put some storage and stuff in it. That way I can have my mouse close by with my right hand. Because this left-handed mouse stuff is for the birds. You lefties, man. I More power to you guys. <laughs> Thank you there, GK. Appreciate it, man. I appreciate it. Yeah, you can see here on this uh, the center monitor, see how dark it gets. It makes it a little tough to see. So that's why I decided, you know what? I'm going to put both views on there, and I'll just kind of kind of deal with the skewing on the side of the windows and I still think it'll be better for everybody. I'm glad I did it now. Oh yeah, no problem, Josh. Well, hey man, anytime, man. There's, there's actually a lot of stuff to do, um, you know, with ATS nowadays. I mean, it's, it's still a relatively simple, you know, sim, um, but learning curve on all the new programs and all the new things that kind of add to it. I mean, it's, it's like anything. I mean, it's a lot of customization stuff is available now, so. What's up, MHP Hollage? You can see, man. <laughs> you can't use the mouse to the left hand. Oh, man, that's fresh. Well, I guess if you learn it that way, it's like I'm using it, and I'm like, oh, wait a minute. That middle finger click, you know, I'm like, this just feels insanely weird. Yeah, Frank, I know, I know it is. Yeah, the night's got darker. The lights are still dim, even on, even on bright. They don't really add a lot to it. Um, so yeah, so we're only going to, so we only got about 88 miles. I'm not sure where my, uh, let me see if I can pull up Truckee app. Whatever reason it did not restart on this last one. I'm not sure if it's going to do it now. Okay, so there was that. There's that. It's not gonna give me that one. Okay, I'll probably have to restart to get Truckee to pop up there. But anyway, sometimes it'll give you your, your time. But yeah, we got about 75 miles. You guys can't see that now, but I'm about 75 miles here. We're in Utah, and I'll make it morning again. No heavy duty records, child. Just uh, we just now have triple axles now. So okay, well, all right. Sorry, left handers. <laughs> I guess if you learned what you ride, it'd be no different. So Island Crown, what's going on, man? It's good to see you guys. Zai, what's up? Yeah, the fam jam. We're good, dude. Hope you're doing well, man. Frogman, what's up? Good to see you, man. BJ Bryant Gaming. Hello. Big Kelly, what's up? What's everybody doing on there? Ah, we doing good, man. Hope you are. That's okay, MJ, MGK. Uh, I think everybody's been there at a time or two. We've got quite a few guys who use controller with it. Uh, so, Gary, this is the uh, Z-Mods N14. This is on the Steam Workshop. This is from uh, Z. Z E E Z mods. Uh, Pete, not yet. Everything from me in the beta has been pretty good. Um, I haven't lost out on too much, you know. Um, things haven't been too crazy with it. I wanted to kind of see what the nighttime was, but this is freaking dark. This is kind of crazy, actually. I mean, you can kind of up the brightness, but it doesn't really... We really need, like, a gamma setting. Um, but see what's crazy, like, if you look over... If you look over here, like, whatever this is on the this left front over here, like, look at the lighting when we come around it. It's, like, really bright and really, like... Like, it just jumps out. It's behind this hill right here. But, like, you know, things are... See, look at that. Look at that. The way it, like, all shimmers and sparkles. I don't know if you can see it now. 
Yeah, see it over there? See how crazy that looks? But then, you know, look in front of you and barely see the road in front of you. It's just, it's just weird. Yeah, the headlights do look better. They're just still dim. I mean, I don't, you know, it's like, I don't think you can control the brightness. I would love to know if you can control the brightness of the headlights with the console. I doubt it. But I think they need to give it a couple more ticks, you know. Of just maybe just spatial, you know, just more area in front of you. See, all this is new, like all of these. See how the stoplights are, are reflecting off the hood? Like, there's still some really, really, really good things going on here. You can see the, the, the stoplight red that's on the uh, on the back there. The other thing that I noticed on the back of these trailers, so I don't know if, well, shoot, I've got, you can't see them now because he backed in behind me. But anyway, these little slotted ones have like a slotted LED strip around them. And now, like when you put on the, oh, yeah, there you go. You can see them right there. See those, uh, see those, oh, why did it go to this one? What in the world? Oh, I know what it did. My bad. You see how these have the, like the ring of LEDs around them? And then when you push the brakes, the interior of them actually, you know, pile in, which is really, it's really nice. I mean, that that's uh, something new that I didn't see last time. So I don't know if that's something they updated or what, but pretty good, man. I don't know. I don't know, Milkry or Mikri. Mikri? I have no idea, man. I mean, I think this scene right here is pretty cool. Um, see how they've got all the lights. You've got the red plus the... You know, you've got the red plus the white, you know, on all of the, the cars. I think it's a little overdone, but it's still a really nice effect. You know, it's pretty realistic what you see in real life. So, I mean, it's like if they, you know, curl tail some of those and, like, kind of fine-tune them into where they look a little more, like, kind of put together. Um, I think it's going to be jamming. It's really good, man. The death file to get more distance. Yeah. Yeah, and I, I hate doing that because you have to do it all the time. <laughs> I usually the first thing I do is take the bloom out. That's usually the first thing I do with Dev Console. Well, what's up, TTV Spear? Now, are you, man? Imposter, thanks for the shout out there on uh, Twitter, man. I appreciate that. I don't do a lot with Twitter just because a lot, a lot of my guys aren't really on Twitter, even though SES is full on it. Let's see, I think we'll be all right here. Nope, nope, no we're not, no we're not, no we're not, no we're not. We only did a we only did a minor side scrape there, we're alright. We're good. Yeah, it's uh it's yeah, it's good, man. I you know it's uh it still has that farm sim like you know how the, the, the reflections still have like a materialistic kind of like fade over them, if that even sounds right? It's kind of weird, I know, but yeah, like these building ones here are really nice. Really nice. They're bright. Um, I think they're on the right path, man. I'm excited to see what they do, man. <laughs> yeah, it'll buff out. See the stars better? I don't even know if you can see the stars. Yeah, I mean, you can, but I don't know. I never look much at the stars anyway. Yeah, there's especially all the chrome, man. The chrome stuff has really got huge, 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 huge up. It's still weird, though. The chrome still goes dull at night, and I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> I'm like, because um, usually brights add more than just the length. They usually add width to your teasing scene in the road, so... Oh, well, thank you there, thank you there, Spirit. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah, I've been playing back and forth trying to find uh, the best one that, some people like the three wide, some people like, you know, seeing close-ups of other stuff, some people, you know, like seeing the regular old-fashioned front, you know. I've done this setup with uh, iRacing, and I'm trying to find a way, you know, that I can basically compile all of my games, um, you know, into one kind of centralized, um, overlay that I can use throughout all of them no matter what I'm doing and so for right now this one's really this one's uh this one's I'm, I'm liking this one a lot so 
What's up, DJ? We got a log stacker. We were fixing to be in uh, Utah. Not exactly sure where else it was the city. Yeah, we'll Salt Lake City. And uh, so we'll be at Salt Lake City here in just a few minutes. And then we'll make a daytime. And we'll haul something out daytime wise. <laughs> Microsoft Flight Sim MGK. I would love to. And I actually did, but nobody watched it. And, um, you know, I, I, I put uh, I put a few different things out there, man. It just that none of my guys bid on it, which I didn't really think they would. Um, but uh, so different, you know, flying a plane versus driving a truck. And so, you know, I just I just had to, you know, put it put it back on the back burner for right now. So, DJ, we're in the uh, W900, but how do I fill them out? Oh, just hang around a little bit, Justin. We'll start calling 140 again. I mean, I like it. Um, it's definitely got its quirks and some things they need to iron out, but man, it's a, it's a doggone good step in the right direction. Let's see, I never can remember which one to go in. I think we go, oh, this is the mine. Oh, this is gonna suck. The heck did they need a log stacker at the flipping mine for? I don't even know how I'm gonna, I've got an extended chassis, tri drive axle, and they expect me to Uh, the N14, great. It's only one. I, I'm using a 630, I guess. Man, J and J Aviation. Hang on, just a second, buddy. Don't let me forget that. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll speak to that anyway. Yeah, the ETS2 beta for 140 is good too. Of course, I don't know if they've updated or done something. You know, they might have done something. What's up, Trucker? How are you, man? Hey, don't let me forget, Trucker. I've got updated 140 stuff for you, man. Um, I've got updated. I've got the updated 140 map for you. So don't let me forget. Okay, I had to. Yeah, I've always, the Kenworth's always been a really good cruiser, man. I've always liked the Kenworth. I think that's why, honestly, I like the Texas, uh, the Texas custom truck. Because it's just a straight up cruiser. I mean, there's no, there's no if, ands, or buts about it. Once you get on the highway, man, it's straight up rolling. It's good. I like it. All right, so this will be interesting. I don't know that we'll make these turns, but we're certainly going to give them a valiant effort. <laughs> Especially not on the three view like this. <laughs> it's kind of tough. Uh, how do you adjust the screens uh, so as to not lose too much image of your truck? Uh, what do you mean, Maxim? Might need to clarify that. You mean from a stream perspective, or you mean from the three view? Is that Shimai or Shimei? It's been going. Uh, it's been a fine day. Um, so, Skibby, if you want to donate to uh, to anything, just uh, scroll down in the description. You'll see Streamlabs link. That Streamlabs link is the one that you can do credit card or PayPal, but you'll get the shout out for it. So you still put in whatever name you want. That way you don't have to give away your real names. And you don't have to do the pro on there. I, sometimes I think people get a little confused. You don't have to do pro version on Streamlabs to donate. It's a little, they try to get you, they try to sell you on it, but you don't have to do it. For the triple screen, so there's two ways to do that, BJ. Um, if you're using the multi-monitor two mode, I'm in the zero mode because it's it's what I'm using on stream because it works better for guys that like seeing out of the, say, the driver's view and not over the shoulder view. If you are um, doing the multi-monitor mod two, um, the, the biggest thing that you have to do is you just have to settle for the right field of view perspective that settles, that that's set for your particular monitor size. 
and that can change depending on what you're what you're running you know um, my typical safety monitor view was between 65 and 70 um, at least on that multi-monitor mode 2 version so I actually did pretty good on that didn't I I was actually scared I wouldn't even be able to make it down here I said let's figure out there you go y'all don't laugh I have to do this because I'm, I'm a righty on the mouse let's figure out where uh, let's figure out where they go okay alright so I just need to turn around back alright here we go the edge makes you lose your resolution you mean right here is that what you're talking about I think you mean if you're doing multi-mode monitor, it makes it kicks the screen in or out to give you the right look from inside the truck. I think that's what you're talking about. It's kind of it's kind of what's up, damn games there from Jamaica man. What's up? Hope you're doing good. I'm waiting for someone to be from Brazil. I saw uh, I saw the Fast and Furious. You know where they welcome Hobbs and the. The copper, they welcome uh, the rock. <laughs> they welcome him to Brazil. I love that part. You're not in the States anymore, Hobbs. You're in Brazil. Like, man, I wish I could walk up in a group of people and do that. Welcome to FTG. Just that I have the same ring. Maybe it's the tats and the lack of muscle. I don't know. Growing the growing the, the dad beard out here. Going to shape this bad boy up. <sighs> yeah, it's going to be nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> there we is. Yeah, Stone Cold Daniel. Thank you, buddy. Appreciate it, man. Tom Bossfish also from Jamaica. Man, we got a lot of guys from the Jamaica Barbados there. <laughs> You're going to Brazil. Yeah. This is Brazil. Like, he's not even Brazilian. It's like I got the accent and everything down pat. Like, what's up with this, man? <laughs> yeah you mean that so yeah, yeah okay so that's multi-monitor mode too so when you display that for somebody like in the discord or you display that a little bit wider for like what i'm doing yes it will cut your it'll put a line in there and it'll change the field of view versus this side of the screen so people can see it if you want this you have to go back to the mon multi-monitor mode zero which essentially gives you a flat three face out the front the problem is, is it looks skewed because you pull the inside monitors in closer, so it makes them look and appear skewed. Uh, but honestly, it's the same as any racing game or anything else. I just try not to put too much of that. Like, I just don't deal with it because I'm, I'm, I'm basically taking a hit for stream. That's basically what I'm doing. I would drive it the way you're doing it, but not necessarily the way that I would necessarily want to. <laughs> so, yeah. So, once you know, getting past that part, it's like, yeah, it makes a little bit more sense when doing it that way. So uh i'll tell you what let's do this let's go ahead let's change it back up to day daytime real quick and uh actually we'll make it early in the morning we'll see sunrise it's just so dark the beacons really don't look any different to me either like this is such a big change from like last time see what i was talking about see how the they've got the red ringed uh leds now when you hit the brakes well see how the leds actually fill out like that's really that's nice we've never had that that, that's nice. All right, let's uh, let's do let's do some time management here. All right, so there's five in the morning. We'll cut our beacons off. Well, I say we'll cut our beacons off. No, they don't. Oh, I got depth console up. There we go. All right, let's find us a load now. Let's see where we could go. What's up, Timbo Slows? How are you, man? All right, so we're back in uh, Salt Lake, Utah. Um, log loader's pretty nice. I like these, man. It would be nice. I would do, like, one really nice, good load. We have not been to... Let's see if we can find one over to the... This place, whatever it is. I'll think about it in a minute. The power place. Vitas. Or Vita. Whatever it is. I have not seen that place um, in the job market in like what feels like forever. And I don't know if it's not in cargo or what. I was at least trying to find out anything beside us that's going that general way. 
But it does not look – I would love for a filter. I'll tell you what, they do these updates, man. If they do a better filter, filter for, like, actual destination and be able to filter that down to a company, oh, my gosh. I think, you, I think you'd have everybody in ATS that would be groveling at the feet for that update. But, yeah, anyway, this is what we're faced with. All right, let's just pick up out of Salt Lake. We'll move our way there that way a little closer. Um, Trucker Justin, this is a um, – uh, my name's Justin, so I guess we could be Trucker Justin in tandem. Uh, this is off of – honestly, this is out of the ETU mod, ETS2 mods. This is um, the uh, Landsat map, uh, Landsat map. Uh, you can Google that. Uh, it'll pull up some mods. Um and but this one's from RO Extended, which is uh, Romania, uh, uh, and they've got Landsat maps for ATS and ETS, and they essentially are just the real satellite and sat, satnap maps. You can get those from the forums. So if you type in Sat Landsat maps RO Extended SES forums in Google, it should pretty much get you really close without like very little looking. Um, so that's 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 where I got these, and I've had this in there forever. Good thing is, all it does is allows you to zoom out. All right, I'm trying to figure out where that one went. I don't know where it went. Okay, shoot, y'all, I'm, I'm done. Got all uh, all off pitch here. Uh, where's this going? Oh wow, it's yeah, it's a nice haul. Um, we have not been back here. That's going down to Socorro, the Socorro, Socorro. Gosh, going down to Socorro. Uh. I wanted to get in one of these mines. We have not been back to the minings here in Pueblo and Alamosa. We have not been back there in like forever. So I was going to try and see if we couldn't find something, uh, maybe down into that Namek. But dadgummit, man, I'm not even seeing any heavy, heavy alls down into there. <sighs> Nothing. All right. Well, let's uh let's just see if maybe we can find something in the Colorado here. We'll at least get us there. Steamboat close enough. We'll take the bull by the horns down. That one's going to Rangeley. Anything else a little further in? Nope. Oh, there's ah, there's Alamosa. Ah, wheel loader's kind of small. <sighs> Sorry. Sorry I'm doing this, you guys. Mixed tanks are kind of cool. It's just, uh, you, yeah, I guess, yeah, I guess you can down to boom. Of course, I don't want to do that on stream because then I'd be like, I'd be afraid that something would go wrong. <laughs> well, big crash, sorry. What's supposed to take that down dynamic? So I guess maybe we'll do something else. <laughs> How about this? Let's pull out of Colorado Springs because that's where it's at. How about that? I don't know why I made it rhyme, but it, yeah, okay. All right, I'll stop. Uh, looks like we can. I, I will tell you what, man. The funniest thing, guys, is pick up two forklifts on on this uh, on this big old bed we got, man. <laughs> this is hilarious. Hey, thank you there, down south. Oh my gosh, man! Seventy five donated the great street, man. Thanks for you learning a lot, and watching the how tos. Thank you, man. Appreciate that, down south. Ek, dang up, man. Appreciate it, man. I need to change all my sounds. I haven't gotten that far yet. I just got the alerts in there. So, and thank you there, Trucker by Faith there, uh, a five dollars super chat man as well. Appreciate it, guys, man. That's awesome. I need to look for loads more often. They're like, oh my god, hurry up, FTG. Here's some money. Just get driving, dude. I'm tired of watching you just sit there. My bad. Let's go to Colorado Springs. Hey, look at there. There's one going to the power company. Yeah, that's the only one. That's great. That's great. It's not what we needed, man. <laughs> All right, here. I'll I'll stop. I'll stop. I'll stop. I'll stop. Let's go to Colorado. Let's pick up a heavy bulldozer. Going to Colorado. <laughs> Thank you there down south. Appreciate it, man. Let's go to Colorado Springs. Is that that got us pretty doggone close right there, didn't it? Oh, Husky said finishing off the goal, man. Appreciate it, man. Twenty five finishing off the goal. All right, I feel like I needed some music behind that. Those alerts are absolute junk. <laughs> so I'm sorry for the lackluster bit of uh, musicality behind my alerts. <laughs> oh, my gosh, man. This is a lot harder than I thought it was. 
Uh, I'm sure I'll look completely like a noob trying to do all this. What's he got his arm through his will for? Oh, that makes total sense. All right, let's put that there. What was the goal? Yeah, so uh, goal bet. There it is. Thank you. Uh, so we're uh, looking for the uh, – I'm getting an R R RPM tack gauge that matches my speedometer. Um, so I've got a speedometer that looks a lot like this, and uh, except it's a 5-inch. And so it's going to go here, and then the RPM tack with shift light is going to go there. Now, but that's really going to be used for, like, eye racing. You can use it for Forza, a setup. I want to get into drifting on a setup. Um, I want to try to hone my skills in, and that evidently is, like, the best game to do it on. So people say. So at any rate, that's what I'm going to try. So, yes, airplane pieces. Dude, Earl, that would be... Dude, that would be nice, man. So, like, big, like, legit, like, I don't know, airplane fuselages or wings or, you know, something trucking. It would be good to put those loads, like, in, um, what's the other one over there? The, uh, Everett over there in Washington. That'd be legit to put it in there. So, thank you, guys, man. Appreciate it, man, uh, as well, man. Sponsors as well, man. All the guys in green, man. Guys in blue, thank y'all for being here, man. Y'all were, were awesome, man. I appreciate y'all. It is, uh... Uh, honestly, you know, I actually, uh, you know, I, I've kind of gotten sappy on a few streams. I actually do miss getting live. And, uh, you know, it used to be sometimes, you know, streamers get in that rut where like, oh, gosh, I don't want to go live. I don't really want to stream this tonight. But honestly, ATS has been chumming along pretty good. We've had some good updates. We've had good mods. Uh, you've had 140 has been really nice coming in. So, um, you know, I feel like we've gotten a really nice, good chum of content. So, you know, sometimes coming in here, man, it's good to see a lot of familiar names and names that I want to support and tell you, hey, man, I like what you're doing. I'm learning a lot. That's good. That's that's kind of what I always wanted to be here for was so guys could learn how to do this and really uh, be able to utilize this uh, this game sim, whatever you want to call it, for, um, you know, harness it for what they wanted to use it for. So I'm glad you guys are glad you guys are learning some stuff, man. I feel like I learned stuff a lot, too, so. Uh, typically DJ, I float, man. All the trains carry those. Yes, they probably do. Not Gran Turismo. I don't think Gran Turismo. I mean, I, I think you can do it, man. Uh, but I don't I don't think from the drift world, I think a set of Corsa was the one that had the most setups of drift tracks and stuff for all of that. Forza is pretty good, but it's very arcadey. It's still fun, though. It's just arcadey. Thank you there, Chris Buchanan. I don't know if he's going to shout you out, buddy, but we'll shout you out, man. Appreciate that upgrade, man, to Cruise Control. Chris been sponsoring a while. Got him a nice, nice badge there. <laughs> oh, yeah, the Humvee load. That's a good one, man. Yeah, Bart needs to update some. Not update, but he needs to add some more of those cool loads like that you don't see on a lot of those. This is kind of nice. Uh, Dab Games is the M14 uh, from um, Zmods. Cummins M14. I did say I said a Corsa. I actually think I have the whole entire thing plus all the DLC. Um, I think I bought it for like 20 some bucks. I can't remember if it's that one or if it's ACC. I don't think it's ACC, but I could totally be wrong. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> Man. So I'll take it you did not watch my last one. <laughs> my last Forza stream this weekend. It was fun, but yeah, it's it's definitely on the arcadey style. I really wish that Need for Speed would get their ball in the game and uh, throw up and serve a actual multi multi USB supported game for wheels and stuff on Need for Speed. Man, y'all know how much fun that'd be, man. Dude, man, awesome. Thank you there, TNL. Appreciate it, man. Appreciate it, man. Master teacher? I don't know about that. <laughs> I could be a salty teacher when I want to be. I just, I just, you know, some people get mad at me because I don't give them the answer right away. But honestly, it's the best way to learn is to, like, take the direction to get you started in the right direction. And then when you, like, when you actually figure it out, you're like, oh, that's what he wanted. And then you never forget it. You know, once you watch and learn how to stack your mods, you never forget it because you're constantly always doing it. <laughs> never changes. Hey, thank you there, man. Appreciate that. Kathy and Devin, thank you, guys. 
Very much so. Me and Devin paid for the tax. Well, I appreciate that. Very much so. I might be my first couples that watch the uh, stream. I never know. I usually just assume there's a lot of dudes in here, you know. And when I see other, like, girls' names in here, I just assume that it's, like, you know, the mom and it's their son on their YouTube account. <laughs> just, I never know. So, thank you there for the 20. Appreciate it. And Spirit coming in there. First gear, man. Thank you there, Spirit. Appreciate it, man. And is that the right way to say your name, Spirit, or is it Spirit in? I never, I never really know there. What's up, JB Styles? Good to see you, man. Yeah, Husky, it was, man. It, it was. It, it was a nice change. It was a nice change for us. I actually kind of enjoyed it. Um, I got to say, man, you guys going to have to stay for iRacing uh, Sunday night. I may stream a, uh, some races this week just to kind of fill you guys in on what's going on. But basically, I joined what this the NASCAR iRacing series, which everybody can join. It's not like you're like some kind of an elite driver if you do this. Um, but they have an official race that's different times throughout the week, and they'll have thousands of people sign up for this race, and it's at a particular time. It's the only time that you can race it. Um, and uh, usually mine will use my, usually do mine on Sundays at 9 p.m., which is work, works good because, you know, we're doing the same thing here. And basically what I'll try to do is uh, get in here a little bit early, do some warm-up, qualify, and then the race actually starts at 9 p.m., and, uh, and if you guys have never seen it, you know, I go back to like, uh, I've got racing down the bottom of, this, of um, uh, my YouTube channel. If you go down to the, scroll down to the bottom of the main page and check out some uh, show up Sunday. And I may actually stream this week just to kind of showcase what it is. Uh, it's a lot of fun. It's extremely interactive and fun. I've got the same setup here. We've got multiple cams. You got a wide view up up front. You've got standings to know where I'm at and uh, see some telemetry on what's going on with me. and. Um, I, I think it's a lot of fun from a, it's very interactive from a viewer's perspective. So if you like NASCAR, you like racing, you want to see a different side of me that gets mad when somebody does something they shouldn't do when you're going 200 miles an hour, show up because I'm try, I promise you, I'm definitely not the same guy on here. So, <laughs> so, you know, it's one of those things. <laughs> I just hope, you know, I don't wind up getting uh, letting it out of control. <laughs> What does my name mean? That's a that's a good one there. Uh, yeah, that yeah. <laughs> one million, yeah. Yeah, the NIS. That's what they call it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we should. Uh, I may, I may, I may throw one out this week. Maybe, uh, maybe do a surprise one. Maybe like, you know, it won't be a surprise. I'll tell you where it is. Right. Uh, maybe, maybe Thursday, maybe. I don't know, maybe tomorrow, Thursday, you know, we're kind of kind of sprinkling a few different things this week, you know. Uh, do some trucking, maybe do a, um, do something with that. And, yeah, we might could do a couple different things. Let's see. Um, you miss iRacing? Yeah, well, it's back in, man. They just started back. Someone asked if I seen The Clash. Uh, I did. I watched, I watched the... Uh, the actual, the E Coca-Cola 600 guys. I watched them do it, so. Uh, train guy, love 140, man. Um, I'm, I'm kind of, I'm kind of amiss that they, they, they've changed the things graphically from where they were last time, which kind of sucks, but it is what it is. Um, but I actually still really, really, really like what they're doing with it. I think it's going to be a very meaningful update, which is going to be nice. So uh, so these speedometers, so these right here are actually oil pressure. Uh, that's some fuel gauge. And we are uh, right at almost just barely over half. Uh, let's make sure where is my... There's water, amps, brake. Oh, it's really, it's over there. Yeah, we're just above half. So we're right on the money. And then out there is my uh, water temp. So... Thank you there, Corporate Cosmic Storm. Captain Cosmic Storm. Thank you there, Fawn on Twitch side, man. Appreciate it. Uh, what's up? Is that 983? What's up, man? It's been a long time. We're in Colorado Springs. We're heading down to the mining uh, facility, picking up. I don't know what even what we're picking up. I have done forgotten what we're picking up. But we're picking up something heavy, and we're hauling it down to Raton, I think. What's up, Dark Sun? How are you, man? Man, all the all the OGs coming out to play tonight, man. What's up, guys? Hope y'all are doing good. <laughs> so you can buy these uh, meters anywhere. Um, 
they're everywhere. Just type in gauges. Um, you know, getting them work is not something that I can really tell you how to do in a live stream. Uh, there are some resources out there of getting like real cluster gauges and stuff to work with different sim games. Um, my advice is just watch as much as you can, learn as much as you can before you dive in. But if you wanted like proof that it works, yeah, it works. Um, it's just a lot to try to to tell you guys how to do it, you know, in a in a stream. But it's honestly not that bad. The expensive part is. Um, because I did all this myself, and I'm not even like a hugely computer mechanic, you know, like, I'm not really mechanically inclined when it comes to computer tech stuff. Uh, car mechanic stuff is different, but yeah, the, the computer tech stuff. I enjoy the software side of it, but the hardware side of getting things to do it work right and then boards and, you know, very minute programming, configuring, that kind of stuff. Yeah. I'm, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not the best at that, you know, so I'm, I would say I'm out of a hundred percent of us knowing all the things I'm probably like a 20 <laughs> so it's not uh, not too bad so we have Colorado oh uh, well thank you there Cosmics all right man you need follows and need people's support man <laughs> never at fault I always blame somebody else absolutely man it's always somebody else's fault man <laughs> Judd 175 was up man yeah, Dark, we're doing good, man. Hope you are uh, as well, man. Good to see you, man. Hope life's treating you well. She probably would take offense to you calling her an old lady, even if she is old. I have no idea how old you are, but, yeah, she might take offense to calling her old lady. I know mine would. She'd be like, are you calling an old lady? <laughs> like, nobody? <laughs> Yeah, Tito. Yeah, man. Absolutely, man. Pretty awesome. How much money did my setup cost, Josh? It's it's a build, man. I, I You can search most of my stuff and figure out, you know, for the most part, how much different individual things cost. But it's uh, keep it in mind that it's, it's the build over the matter of, like, two and a half years. I've been adding to and replacing and selling and buying new for this thing. So it's not something that I've... You know, just said went out and 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 you know took a blank check and and bought something. You know, I think that's the the biggest. Um, I think that's the biggest thing that people think, but that's not necessarily the truth. Um, let's see where are we going. We've got Gallup. Um, I'm trying to think. We're only an hour in, so we could do us a nice trip. I was trying to get something with a little bit of weight to it because I do like uh, these, especially these tri drives. Man, it's kind of nice. Kingman's just such a haul. But it is going to be a lot of interstate. Golly. Denver, Astoria, looks like Gallup is. My gearbox and shifter setup is Fanatec. And then I've got a custom-made shifter. Uh, actually, setup video, I wanted to say as well. Um, let me figure out what load we're going to do, and then I'll talk about setup. Pueblo's too close. Alamos is too close. Fort Collins. <sighs> Man, this has not been my day for... Uh, for new loads for sure port angeles is way too all right let's just do the bull let's do the bulldozer down to kingman sure why not whatever people like kingman hmm. oh shoot where's that going dang it <sighs> hang on a minute All right, let's do this. Let's let's see, let's see if we can. Actually, does it got me on that as a, an active job? I, I think it's probably going to. Yes. All right. Let me let me close this one down. Let's abandon that. And let's go back in. Hey, Papa Rock, doing an awesome job. Learned a lot. I enjoy the. Well, thank you, man. Appreciate it, Pop. Well, that's the that's the whole goal, man. That is the absolute whole goal is to uh you know to actually enjoy what you're doing. Which oh, there's one going. Hey, let's go to the power company. Yay ha! All right, sell goods. What did sell goods start? Wow. Sell goods has stepped their game up, fellas. All right, sell goods. Uh, got the wind turbine down to the Vitas power. Let's take it. Let's take it. Let's get some power and I sell. That's for us. The next thing we need. All right, little screw of Yui here in the mine lot. <laughs> 
There is the boom. Yeah, there's two. This is the machinery part, and then there's an actual in the mine part. I thought we might go to the in the mine part, but evidently we didn't quite make that one. It's all right. Oh, Villavan, you talking about uh, you talking about in game like Def Console over there and see what it is? It might would work. I don't know. I do. I haven't even gone over up to look and see if they are. Yeah, thank you there, Cloudy. Yeah, so the setup video um, I was actually going to do, and I recorded uh, pretty much everything I wanted to. <laughs> and come to find out, uh, yeah, I decided that I would get all these gauges working for the stream. And I was like, well, crap. I was like, well, now I just might as well just go ahead and redo the video because all this stuff is going to be doing. People are going to be going, well, where's that on your video? I didn't see any of your gauges on there. You just put it out last week. And I'm like, yeah, no, sorry. So anyway, I think what I'll do is just wait until we get the RPM tack gauge in. Once we get it all set up and get our boxes built, then I guess we'll go back and redo again. I'm like, that way at least it'll be as up to date as it's going to be. Because honestly, I don't know where I can put anything else. I think I'm like, I'm tapped out for space for our truck setup. So. <laughs> uh, where are we going here? What are we doing? What are we doing? Wait, 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 wait. I feel like I've gotten lost. Oh, there it is. Bosnian game, what's up, man? James, thank you there for the buck. Appreciate it, man. That's 24 20 loves you, gold lady, because it makes you feel special. Okay, all right. My lady would tell me I ain't old. I had the rest of my life to be old. Like, all right, that's cool. <laughs> y'all do y'all. <laughs> Uh, yeah, Renee 93, yeah, so convoys are always the same. Uh, that's the easiest way to do it. Join the Discord, look for the official convoy channel, and that's where we do our officials on the weekends. Um, and, um, uh, Papa, I don't know if I did. Thank you there for the 10, man. I think I read your, th your stuff, but thank you there for the 10, man. Appreciate it. Um, but, uh, same as that. We're in Colorado right now, so this is the latest DLC for American Truck Sim, so... Oh, Ronald, yes, yes, yes. Freightliner is good, man. He is putting out a massive mean update on Kenworth, so you guys will have to stay tuned to this space because the Kenworth uh, for John Ruda is going to be jamming, especially once he gets things uh, squared away on 140. Uh, we'll hop back in some of his trucks. and See, here's, um, you know, I don't know, man. Here's a, here's a totally different field setup for this. Um, it's weird, but you see how, like, it feels like the clouds don't pop like they used to? Um, a couple of guys in chat were saying, you know, it feels like things are a little bit more dull than they were. And I would totally agree with that because now you can almost like see, let's do this. You can almost see like pixelation, even though I'm running it all on ultra. You see how like, even though you've got the sun, see how it like, it doesn't like brighten back down. It's like, it just stays dark. And I think it's supposed to like the gamma on this is supposed to change when you're not looking at the sun, it brightens everything else up. And I'm wondering maybe if that just, if it didn't get turned on <laughs> on the last update or what, uh, I'm curious. But when you're inside, see how bright this looks inside the truck? Like it looks legit. It does what it's supposed to do. See how it'll brighten up and then it gets darker as you get out and start looking outside. It's supposed to do that outside when you're not looking at the sun artifact. It's supposed to do that and it doesn't. So I'm curious if that's not exactly why we're sitting there saying this looks dull than it did last time. You know, I don't know, but, you know, we're just taking a stab at it. We might have hit an artery on that one. We'll see. Cloudy Jacks, thank you there for $2, man. Appreciate it, buddy. Yes, Bozzy, it does, man. It's still it's still good. It's still a good step in the right direction, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I'm, I'm being picky with that kind of stuff. <laughs> he built it. There we go. <laughs> Just gonna. All right, where are we going? 54 miles. 54 miles. So we we didn't we didn't make that that trip. But Grims, thank you there for the ten dollars super emote. Appreciate it as well. I did, Thomas. They sent me some stuff out on there, so I was going to do a little a little catch me up video on that one. Uh, thank you there, Grims, for the ten man. Appreciate it, bud. As always. Um, 
and I think uh, I'm either going to talk about it in a video. Or we'll do might, might try to do a little spot video on that. But anyway, they've got some nice updates and do some new picks. Uh, it looks good. Uh, it looks good in 140. Um, they've updated or at least are starting to update. Uh, the guys at the farm mods, for any of you guys that got farm mods, make sure you check your emails because he's already offered and got the last, um, the last, all of those little farm mods are now all up, updated to 140. So if you're not in 140, not for 140 yet, don't download them, don't use them. Uh, but if you are going into 140 and you're just going to stay there until it updates, then you can grab your farms and put those in as mods. They work now. So. Oh, well, thank you there, Rick. Appreciate it, man. <laughs> I think traffic's always cut people off double. <laughs> I think they've always done that. Uh, how do you connect your G29 wheel? Just uh, plug the USB in. That's pretty much it, man. Um, you'll need to download the Logitech software. Um, but that's pretty much it. And there's a couple of, there's, there's some guys that have some good set of bids, you know, from, from like wheel stuff. Got some good wheel set of videos as well. Thank you there, Grinch. Appreciate it, man. <laughs> I don't know that anybody over at OTR does. <laughs> don't tell him you're watching me, Grinch. <laughs> All those guys on OTR used to love watching them some FTG too. I have to laugh about it now. <laughs> we'll just keep that on the DL, Grinch. <laughs> hey, what are you doing tonight, Grinch? Oh, no, just, you know, watching some guys on Facebook run off the sides of the mountains. It's pretty cool. One guy was doing like a buck 40, and he ran into a guardrail, and the truck did nothing. It was cool. Pretty much it. Ate some SpaghettiOs, drank a glass of milk, went to bed. What about y'all? <laughs> well, we are in the KW900. I have, but I, you know, TNL, I was thinking about it, man. Um, I was thinking about it, but, and I guess I could. Um, it's just, I don't, I wouldn't use it for the racing stuff. And that would make three wheels, because I've got the WRC wheel, and then I've got this one. It would work. It's just a little bit annoying the way the button hub configuration thing is behind it. Because all these little buttons here, they can all, like, move in and out and switch. And then, so when you take these six, you know, uh, Allen wrench nuts out, so they, they all just kind of fall. I mean, it's a little aggravating, but but yes, I have given to at least some 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 thought of possibly potentially doing that. Yeah, you're killing the warm towel stuff, man. Y'all are ruining it. <laughs> oh yes, Bosnian. Yes, I agree, man. Yeah, he's talking about when you F four like this, you gotta adjust seats, adjust mirrors. You can't just keep hitting F four like you do. So I wind up constantly hitting F four, and it doesn't change. And uh, <laughs> yeah. So I, I wish we had, uh, you know, the uh, dashboard backlight is okay, but I, don't, I was trying to look in here light adjustments for anything else we have, but we don't really have anything else in here. But yeah, mirrors is the same thing. You just, you know, you got to scroll through all this stuff. It's just annoying. So, uh, yes, is that winter? Is that right? Uh, WNTR? Yes, uh, once I go pick it up. I've just got the long, uh, I've just got the long chassis on here. We've got 13 miles here to pick up. And uh, I think we're picking up a one of those engine nacelles to take over to the power plants. I have not been on the power plant since the day that Colorado came out and we did that video and we pulled into um, I think we're on live stream and we pulled um, those engine nacelles for the wind turbines over to there and that was literally the first time that I'd ever pulled in that which is crazy and I've not been back since not by choice just totally by chance yeah well Greyhound uh, a lot of us do man especially on convoy nights a lot of us use that one it's one of my faves. I like it. It just sounds decent, you know. Yeah, we'll run Daytona, yes, on Iris. Yes, that'll be uh, Sunday. But I may I may actually stream just some other, like, pickup races with different cars and stuff. 
Uh, NASCAR X Infinity. I mean X Infinity. I'm the the Xfinity. Whoops. A little further back than I thought it was. And uh, like the truck series and stuff, they all race during the days. Every hour on the hour, stuff like that. So we might do one of those this week just to kind of spice it up a little bit. That way you guys can see our racing. Hopefully y'all come back on, uh, y'all might want to come back on what you call it Sunday night to check the rest of it out. Be cool. <laughs> uh, John, so all of these came from Autometer. Um, actually, all of them do. They're all the, the Pro Comp Ultralights. You can, um, I mean, you can use anything. They sell, like, Glow Shift sells a couple. Here's the thing that I will tell you, just because I bought a tack, a tack that was much more on the cheaper side, probably like a Chinese special. You know, it just is imported over real cheap. It's not really assembled or manufactured with any kind of, like, super specs, you know, but it's a cheap tack, and it's got a light. The needle's jumpy. And it does not have the motors. I guess the gears that control the needle are not very smooth. Um, so I, I started running into problems with it, which it not, wasn't syncing up with RPMs and it was jumping all over the place. And then it would fall, the light would come on, but I don't know, it just was like weird. So anyway, that's why I was like, yeah, well, you know, lived and learned, at least I know now. At least I know now. Oh man, I thought he should have sped up. He had it. He had it all day long. Uh, but at any rate, uh, I learned that putting a little bit more money into the gauges will serve you well. So getting actual gauges, they got to be mechanical. Because the actual, the, the speedometer that I has actually has o o the odometer in it and the trip. And it reads, you can set the trip to do whatever you want to, but it'll read the trip gauge off the, off the um, it'll read the trip gauge off of the uh, in-game, which is kind of cool. Hey, what's up, Sledge? Good to see you, man. Uh, membership leaderboard for the company uh yes yeah, so there is in truck books now i don't i do have drivers of the month and drivers of the month are the guys that finish at one two three on ats and ets respectively so those guys and the employees of the month category on the discord um all have uh their number one two three in in uh, ats or ets uh either one yeah but Dale, that's right man you better be scooting across that line man We're coming in like a freight train Not only did they cut me off, I mean, I ran the red light, but they didn't speed up, so it's their fault. A <laughs> proper shifter, shifter makes it, yeah, man. Yeah, it can. Any, I mean, really, honestly, the, the first ones I had, man, the A plus B software ones were nice. I mean, I enjoyed those, man, just having two extra buttons and not having to flip stuff on your wheel. It's just a much more realistic feeling, which I definitely go with realism. Realism more. Brady, is that Brady... Brady and if Brady. Thank you, Brady. Appreciate it, man. I was trying to figure that name out, and I was like, nope, nope, not going to do it. Thank you, buddy. Appreciate the uh, $5 shoot chat, man. Oh, good. I just pull right in front here. And we took out their, uh, you know, we took out all that over there. Whoops. Truck is the default uh, 900. It's just got our, uh, got our company skin paint job on it. Uh, you can check in color change that if anybody didn't know all of our um, all of our color change trucks and stuff here um, all of these are metallic colors you can change them all or whatever you want so oh man thank you there homie mag appreciate it man you'll break the gold band. <laughs> appreciate that man another 20 there for big homie back man thank you buddy appreciate that man y'all are on it tonight man y'all are on it tonight man I appreciate it, man. Uh, is that Oli? Uh, N14 Cummins. And, um, and it's just the default 900, as you can see. And I picked the wrong frame. This frame does not have the liftable axle. So if you guys are asking, why aren't you not lifting the drop axle? That's because this frame does not allow me to. So it's going to be my drag wheel, my drag tire. And just to prove, we are now at half tank, a little less, right less, and we're right there on the money. Actually, i got to figure out what tank this one is. I might have a little bit bigger tank on here. But anyway, water temp starting to come up. Oil pressure's coming up. It's pretty cool. I like it, man. Alright, let's do it to it. Yeah, no problem there, homie. 
No problem, man. Nice ground, yeah, man. We'll be around. We'll be around. Hopefully, it won't take too long. I just saw that they made some huge strides in their uh, made some huge strides in their uh, quest for a more perfect union of Trucker MP. <laughs> They fixed some sound issues and fixed and had some updates and some other stuff. So almost like finally. So it looks like by the time 140 comes out, as long as we don't have any big, huge uh, rocks to the boat there from SES, we might actually be looking at a fairly complete Trucker's MP. So I think it's funny that, you know, SES said, hey, we're going to fix multiplayer and give you guys mod access. You know, it's like, hey, we better probably fix that for everybody who goes on mutiny. <laughs> yeah. What's up, Tyson? How are you, man? Hey, thank you there, Mully. Appreciate it, man. Yeah, I was just trying to, I don't know, trying to blend the best of both worlds, you know. You know, trying to give everybody something to look at, but still kind of keeps the game, you know, kind of in, fr in fr frame and focus, and I don't have to keep changing it back and forth, you know. And that way, you can kind of almost look at whatever the heck you want to. <laughs> I mean, y'all look at my crazy mug if you want to. I mean, you know. I, I put it out there for everybody to look at, you know. You don't have to hate it, but you don't have to like it. All right, there we go. All right, we got 100, 160 miles down to the power plant where this is going. I say the power plant, it's really the place we're erecting the wind turbine. It's not really a power plant. <laughs> oh, look at that car still. <laughs> the car's still at the ground before I clocked it. Yeah. Well, that's kind of it's kind of crazy. <laughs> yeah, it's quite retro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's got a, it's got an old feel to it. I'm, I'm gonna change. I need to change the text up now. I've put text, and I don't wanna. Now that I've got the logo effectively, I'm gonna I'm gonna reset and put our logos in the doors. I just I'll just eventually find a time to update that. Sometime, sometime the near future will do it. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yep, 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 yep. Yep, that's right, Sledge. Yeah, anybody's got rude stuff, that's a, that's a good one there to read. Y'all read that one, man. Horns do work. And I think the 900 got a new horn. I can't say that I'm really in love with it. I guess it's better than the honk that we had before but So this is uh this engine pack is Zmods N14. Yeah, I know it's not really a horn. I was being a little You know, I mean, you know how many hours I put into driving like this so I wouldn't look like a fool on stream? <laughs> uh, everybody's like, how did you learn to do that? A lot of time. A lot of hours put into learning how to drive like this. All right, Bozzy, have a good, buddy. <laughs> Getting off grid. <laughs> What's up, CJ? Yeah, Senpai, yes, man. It's good, dude. It's good. Uh, Zmod's done a fantastic job with his mod sounds, man. He's he's a, he's a sound sound master now. 
<laughs> there, you know, horse is bad, I know. It's so terrible. <laughs> I use, uh, yeah, I, I, w I wouldn't mind speakers every now and again, but, you know, I've got to keep it down just for people in the house. You know, wife, she'll go to bed here, you know, 10 plus hours, whatever, plus 10 it is. Um, and so, I, you know, I'm kind of on the other side, on the other end of the room, but on the other side of the wall, so I've got to keep it down. Uh, kids are, you know, upstairs kind of behind me, so i got to keep it down for them. So I just do headset for me, but I think, in, 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 you know, when eventually when we get our uh, new place and, um, you know, get things, kind of get a full, like, studio set up, get some insulation on the walls that's proper to kind of keep noise and stuff like that down, I won't be able to crank it up, but I'll be able to split my line off and have a little bit of, you know, a little bit of rumble in the seat without it being like crazy you know what i'm saying just something just something nice even if nobody's home i can turn it up and enjoy it and then when they get home i can turn it down <laughs> you know something like that uh so that is a uh, kenworth glitter ball uh it just so happens that we're driving a kenworth today so yeah <laughs> god chill out damn it yeah <laughs> what's up cj uh, so called, uh, pretty much any of the moderators can. I've got managers and representatives for the company. So if any of those guys are watching, if you guys want to go ahead and, and uh, accept up uh, our buddy there, uh, Stone Cold, uh, go ahead. Yeah, it's weird. I know, man. It's terrible. Thank you there, Dirt Bike, man. Appreciate the compliment, dude. Appreciate that, man. Yeah, it's, uh, you know, it's kind of crazy to think, like, uh, I, good buddy of mine, uh, you know, we were talking, I was about 30,000. The growth was really slow. You know, like, I think we lose hope. Not lose hope, we lose sight of some of those things on the streaming side. He, uh, you know, we started talking in, uh, in, in my room and stuff on the Discord. And he was like, hey, man, look, it was about 30-some thousand people. He was like, you know, you put everybody that has said, hey, I want to see more of FGG's content, then I want to click this button, subscribe, and, uh, and try to make some of his content over the last, you know, year year plus I've been streaming you know he was like you couldn't fit them all into like Carolina Panther Stadium and I was like you know when you put it in that kind of light and so we get so totally on like these guys that have millions of followers and uh, billions of views and all this stuff you know sometimes you can put it in perspective how many people actually have supported and actually you know uh, hit the subscribe button watch content over the years it may not still all do obviously we've got 50,000 and we got 325 here so we're, we're off somewhere there's about, you know, what, like 50,000, you know, 470 that aren't here. <laughs> but, you know, under the grand scheme of things, it's still pretty cool. So uh, so thank you all. Even if you're here, maybe you watch later on, maybe you watch something else way and you've come back, you know, just to say hey from time to time. Thanks for continuing to do that. I know we see Andrew in here. He started following me when I was in Gold Rush. He's probably one of my first, you know, biggest supporters. Uh, just kind of getting started in the streaming business and, um, didn't even know I'd even be able to make it a part-time job streaming Gold Rush. You know, here this random guy comes in there, you know, starts supporting the stream, and you're really kind of getting things off to a start. So, and those guys still pop in from time to time. So, if you're one of those guys, man, thank y'all. Thank y'all for the years. I hope to hope to be continuing to do this for um, at least uh, more than a few more. So, we'll see where things go. The life of FTG. Yeah. Hey, speaking of life of reality, uh, YouTube stars, did y'all watch the newest video from Atwood? Roman Atwood? Did y'all watch that? Yeah? Maybe? Yeah, Dark Sun's been there from Gold Rush. That's right, man. That's right. That's probably about the time membership started, and that's about the time Dark Sun, he became a member during Gold Rush. So it's two plus years for him. JB, uh, JB plays, I think he was there. Uh, Andrew, like part of the OG guys, man, coffee. Now that's true there. Yeah, that's true there, Spirit. Yeah, you're right about that. Hey, what's up, Predator? I'm just gonna start calling you Predator. <laughs> well, not like some. Uh, what was that? Was that? Was that? Was that kid show? Uh, what was it? That's gonna drive me nuts now. Anyway, what's up, man? How are you, buddy? Good to see you, man. Yeah, that. Yeah, that Roman Atwood video, man. Talking about the stalkers and the old line people, man. That was crazy, man. If you hadn't watched him, you know, he's got millions of followers. Kind of was the, 
made his crazy during all the pranks on uh, YouTube till they basically shut all them down. And then he became like this, you know, real life, real life guy type streamer, you know, streaming real life with the fam and doing the crazy stuff. But yeah, that video is crazy, man. It just goes to show that, you know, sometimes this, you know, this kind of like job, once you get to that point, man, it's not always cracked up to be. For those that don't know, he basically was stalked, like, majorly. I'm still noticing, even though my shadows are on Ultra, I'm still having a weird shadowing. Um, somebody asked about this on the Discord, and I was going to say, yeah, I see that too. And um, if you guys will notice, like, my shadows elsewhere in the game... My shadows elsewhere in the game look nice and crisp and from some objects look nice and crisp but then there are other things like the side of walls the side of buildings like some other random like yeah like the overhangs these dynamic lighting shadows look right here on the corner of this uh this little overhang right here you see how it's like flickering back and forth so i think guys asked me like was well, this supposed to be like that my shadows are on ultra my guess is mine are doing it too so there's nothing else you can do Yes, yeah, 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 Jeremy, yeah, it was more than stalking, like, it was like, guys were hacking into his electrical grid systems and shutting his power off and his systems and his, um, you know, they were hiring security to watch the house and the kids and they would change phones and then they would immediately text them with a new number and be like, you can't get away from me that fast. I was like, oh, snap. I mean, and that, you know, FBI was involved. I was like, that's crazy, man. That is crazy. Travis, the pharmacy in days. <laughs> oh, man. Woo. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, the day got started. Ah, uh, Dark, I have not heard from him in a while. It's it's probably been about three or four months last time I talked to him, maybe. Um, it was before Christmas. I didn't know that. Yeah, I know. Well, there's all kinds of stuff that did, man. It's freaked me out, man. What's up, Devious? Good to see you, bud. Trip. <laughs> this is Drew Balfour last day released on that Yes, I'll be up there, you know. Well, guys, day one for driving our kid work today. Finally released Florida. Yeah, we're now supporting ATS 4. Because it took uh, 25 years to get there. <laughs> Working on my 8th PC. <laughs> Oh, man. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, um, yeah, so we'll see. Uh, there's something else there, uh, there, Predator, when, uh, um, whenever we, and I was looking at it, you know, like inside, you see how, like, crisp the sky is in blue? And when you look out, you know, it's like that thing where the light dims. It dims as you look at the sun object, you know, it's all in an effort to kind of lighten up the dark. When you get outside, it it never changes. Like when you look away from the sun, it never changes. Even when you look up at it, it's like all the same. And I was like, I don't remember that ever being the case. So I, I, I'm wanting to say they still either got some things or working on some things or they just neutralized something right now until they get it fixed. Maybe something they, yeah, the rendering that for a graphics card or something funky. All right, so here's one of the coolest delivery points in Colorado. This is only the second time I've been here because we missed these. I basically did a, a full out version. Um, I did a full out version of this, um, I guess what, last, probably one of my last videos for Colorado release. And then I never came back here. I wanted to do a convoy here. We never did it. I don't know why. I just dropped a ball on it to do it. So anyway, we're gonna pull into one of my favorite delivery points in Colorado which is the Vetus Power, which is nothing more than a windmill farm. There's always a truck on the other side, always. Yes, the light adaptation. Yeah, that's what. That's the. That's it. I, I, I knew some of you guys. Y'all, y'all would know what I was talking about. I'm glad I wasn't imagining that. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. 
<laughs> to Unreal 4. Yeah, you know, and even Unreal, it's got its like it's got its nuances. Like it's a really, really, really pretty sim. It's just got some things that are nuanced, just no different than this one. Same with farm sim. I guess they all have that that thing. And I guess a lot of the race, the racing engines are never really built to be open world, so they're just built to be like compartmentalized maps, you know. Um, the weather simulations and stuff like that are usually not on their radar most of the time. But the realest, the, yeah, the realest looking ones are always the racing ones. Brody, hey, buddy, always have shout out, man. You don't have to ask. You just really just need to say, hey, what's up, FTG? Yeah, is it a nice wind farm? Yeah, they got all kinds of nice stuff. You drive through a couple of these, you got you got some that are already wrecked. Got big, big cranes and stuff out here already. You drive down here to this one down. It's it's, it's cool, man. I like it. I, I would I would like for them to actually. It would be really cool if they did the wing the wing blades. Like I don't know why that's not like a special transport load or um, even yeah. I figured you could probably fit one of those. At its current size, well, I don't know. It might be a little, yeah, it'd be a little big. You probably need a special transport. But I still think that'd be cool, even if they shrunk it down a little bit just to make it work within traffic. You know, be cool. No, Scott. Yeah, it's the default. Yep, default 900, man. Looks good, don't it? Yeah, Rudis. He's. Uh, I don't think. I don't think any of these guys. They're. They're still. The betas. Uh, I, I've noticed about what two, two or three downloads. So it's been a it's it's been a it's been a hefty jump between the betas even with with the new stuff here. So I imagine it's probably going to take to the very end of it till they start settling some of those hot fix updates down. Leland Gas, what's up, man? Yeah. So uh, oh, by the way, I finally got an answer out of Streamlabs for um, this stuff. So Twitch API is working fine with YouTube. Of course it is. I mean, sorry, no. Twitch API is working fine with Streamlabs. Of course. Why would it? So if you follow, um, they have no problem. Oh, come on. So they have no problem showing you any of that stuff. Um, uh, whenever you get on uh, doing like Twitch for subs and follower notifications, donations. Now, donations and all this other stuff is controlled from Streamlabs itself in-house. Super chats are totally different as well. Um, for some odd reason, they all still work because Streamlabs keeps up with that. I'm still getting subscriber notifications after the fact. But every now and again, about on the hour, it seems to be that, uh, like, if we stayed up till 11, I would get a dump of um, subscribers. And it'll only give me, like, five or six. And then I'll go back later, and I'll set it put on you know, 40 or 50 subscribers. And I'm like, when I get notifications of that, this has been going on for, like, two or three months. Supposedly, Streamlabs said that they are not having any luck with YouTube helping get their YouTube API. They changed it about a month and a half ago. And they have not really released how to tap into that from Streamlabs perspective. Now, nobody really knows, but at least the last that they heard that that is not really even in their control because they can't get the necessary information from YouTube to make that connection the way it should be. Twitch, there's absolutely no problem, which is why I see Twitch followers when I'll see actual YouTube subscribers, which stinks, which is why I have to tell you guys after every stream, if you subbed, you're not going to see it. On how many times I reinstall, how many times I redo the browser source is not going to show up. So if you have done it, I thank you. I appreciate it in advance, even though it's not throwing you a shout out. Uh, you can always let me know. Um, you know, you can always let me know. But you know, it is what it is. Uh, so that's why none of the subscriber stuff shows up on screen. Uh, shows up on stream. So anyway what it is so anyways hour 45 is gonna be good i've got some things that i want to do uh tonight so we've got two two really nice loads here um i will still be continuing to uh to roll a little bit more with 140 as we do some things i'll probably hop into a new truck we might do some freight loads next time um in some of the new ones I'm, i really want to fix up a freight version of the western star um and do like a uh, kind of like a company freight job with it we've also got the cascadia with some awesome sounds um and uh, also some company skins and paints on those as well but i'm trying to uh, work on a few things here stream-wise so I can get some things dialed in for this week and weekend. Um, and today was good because I actually got quite a few things done on that. So what's up, Finlander? Good to see you, man. Yeah, it's only for a short time, man. It's only for a short time. We usually do this, at, you know, usually do this for about an hour, 45 to two hours. Um, and then I will be back. My plan is to go tomorrow, uh, Thursday, Friday, Friday, and Saturday. Sunday, 9 p.m. will be the NIS. 
uh, which is iRacing. And I think we'll do another stream this week just with iRacing, just trying to get things up. As for this week in Convoy, I have no idea yet what's going to happen. Depends on whether or not people start rolling back to 139. And we get a lot of our leadership crew comes back to, to do that. Um, but, uh, but, you know, it's, it's no uh, – um, I, either tomorrow or Thursday, Brian. I mean, I may do it Friday. I just got to I, – I don't know, man. I just got to figure out schedule, um, figure out which, what, what's going on. Um, so, but, but yeah. I, I'll, and I'll try to do a little bit better today tonight, give you guys a heads up and schedule it early. That way you guys know what's coming up. I, tonight, man, I was just feel like I was rushing, trying to get all this in there. So, uh, yes, Bud Runner Gold Rush, J.K. time. Yeah, it's been a long time. <laughs> it's been a long time, man. Uh, so yeah, I want to get in a snow runner. Unfortunately, it just didn't, it didn't work my system at the time. It would now, but yeah, I've totally missed that boat, which I'm kind of salty about, but it's all right. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so it's a, a lot like this setup still. And, um, so yeah, it's, it's going to be super slick, man. I, I really like it. The, the eye racing is a, uh, is really nice setup and especially with the monitors and having that extra view, being able to see what's around you, man. I've got some great, like, live stream uh telemetry tools to really help the viewer know what's going on track awareness and know what's going on around me that daytona so the cars will literally be bumper to bumper at 195 200 miles an hour it'll be fun uh, there's always action hopefully i will get put out in the race but uh, typically it's just assumed that it's probably going to happen that way when it doesn't you're really surprised but if it does you don't really care because you know what's going to happen <laughs> so at any rate you know we'll see what's at so but anyway, thank you guys. Appreciate it very much. So let me throw some shouts here to these guys uh, that made a uh, maybe not here on the on the donation side. Appreciate it, guys, and and smash through that goal. Uh, thanks to you guys. Appreciate that, man. Uh, let's see. Let me let me get to the start here. I think uh, Kyle Thurgood there with the sponsorships. Thank you there, Kyle. Appreciate it. Big coming back with the 35. Brian King with the 10. David with the six. Uh, first donation. More to come. So thank you there, David. Appreciate you, buddy. Uh, Zach Peterson with five dollars super chat as well. Uh, William Metca Metcalf uh, with five there. Stone Cold is uh, coming in new sponsor there down south. E came with a seventy five dollar uh, donation. They appreciate it, man. Uh, Trucker by Faith with a five dollar donation. Husky with twenty five. Spearing with sponsorship. So appreciate it, Spearing. Nice to uh, have you on board here, man. And uh, and I do I, I do thank you for the shout out, man. A lot of people don't shout out and, and tweet at me and stuff on Twitter. I just because I, I get tired of like telling people what I'm doing and they're like, yeah, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> got all these followers but like five people actually check their twitter i'm like <sighs> whatever so it's nice to have someone else shout you out on uh i was like oh well, i can like that that'd be nice so thank you there kathy and devin appreciate y'all's uh 20 there uh as well papa rocks there for 10 james Rick with a dollar chip there uh cloudy jacks with the two dollars grinch with the 10 brady with the five dollars and big homie matt closing down breaking the gold uh the gold bar there uh with a 20 dollar uh donation man so thank you guys appreciate it as well uh yeah finn Lander, yeah yeah well, i guess i'm still working some long hours uh as well but yes man uh yeah man we'll be we'll be back live here uh later on this week as well tomorrow uh should be really on from tomorrow till this weekend so unless something drastically comes up that i you know can't get away from but um i'll do the best i can this week so uh it is the end time we're just getting closed up for the night so thank you guys appreciate it as always and uh, and I hope, uh, hope we'll see you guys do some rebranding. So look for some new graphics and all kinds of new cool stuff here on the channel. Our socials are going to be getting a nice up needed upgrade. Uh, it's been years since that's happened, so I'm kind of excited about that. New logos in the house, so new uh, logo videos. Uh, so lots of good things to be excited about. So thank you guys, appreciate it, man. Thank you there, David. I'm glad, man. Thanks for staying up with us as well. Uh, he's all the way in the UK over there, so it's about what three thirty for you now, uh, three forty-five. So <laughs> get 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 late, man. I appreciate the dedication and the support, man. Uh, it's good. So hopefully we'll see you guys here tomorrow. Uh, we'll be in something. We'll be using a steering wheel for something. For what? I don't know. Either cruising around the highways of ATS or we'll be doing 200 miles an hour around Florida. I have no idea. But whatever we do, it will be fun. Uh, and I would implore you to come on out. And there's another OG. What is up, Greg? <laughs> <laughs> there's another one of my boys man greg was one of my like first subscribers on farming sim him and chuck gosh man it's been so long man what's up greg good to see you man it has been a long time man good to see all the all the ogs man you and dark sun it's good to see all dirt bike you've been around for a while too man so yeah man i, I, I hate them I'm, I'm getting out maybe you can uh catch me here tomorrow night um am i streaming on one pc yeah yeah i've debated on doing the multi but i haven't made quite got there yet i'm debating on it so um but yeah thank you there very much M mainly it's just a lack of space 
pretty much. And if anybody, Nicholas actually brings this up. Check the description. I've got a ton of stuff down there in the description now. Uh, if you scroll down to the bottom, I've literally got PC specs, what the new PC is. And I've literally got um, everything that I'm using here in stream, updated the monitors, updated the PC, um, everything but the gauge pod and stuff here that, uh, that we're kind of show, showcasing here on stream tonight. Um, but uh, pretty much everything else is there and updated. So if you guys want to check any of that out, want to go research some stuff, if you're a budding streamer and want to see some of the things that I'm featuring with mine, feel free to go in there, put any of those objects in, in, uh, in, in, uh, in Google and just you know start researching away. Um, uh, but I pretty much put everything I could think of that I actually actively use for streams nowadays. So uh, next step is going to be upgrading and updating my Amazon list so that you guys can see what I'm currently using, if at least Amazon sells it. Um, that'll be the next thing that we do. And then also some other things that I know do work um, at work well that you guys can can find on there as well. So anyway, no OBS settings. I um, <clears throat> Pretty much I use Streamlabs OBS, but they've actually got a really good setting. If you click on... Uh, if you look on your Streamlabs OBS, there's a little question mark down at the very bottom. If you click that, it's put all of their top health, and they have actually have recommended settings for Streamlabs OBS for every single frame rate that you want to um, that you want to display. Whether it's 1080, 60, whether it's 1080, 30, 720, 60, 720, 30, they've got all of those in the best settings to work with those, um, and they're actually they're actually pretty much spot on. So, um, so but yeah, man. So yeah, see so all. Uh, yeah, go check some of that stuff out in there if you guys want to. So I will, uh, I guess I will be here. I'll see you guys here hopefully tomorrow. Um, and like I said, we'll be driving something. So you are awesome. Thank you there down south, man. Uh, yeah, yeah, six, yeah, it might be a little long. That's what I mean. They could kind of shrink and give us still the, you know, they could still give us the the, the roundabout. <laughs> what you think about my, my, my OBS settings? Uh, well, I mean, they're, they're that actually the recommended. They're, they're 65, what, 6,500? For 1080p 60 frames, uh, the keyframes too, B frame rates too. Yeah, I mean it's I literally just carbon copied theirs. Um, mainly it's uh, your connection speed. If your connection speed is good enough to do it, then that's what you got to do. But if you got a slow connection rate, then it might might make it hard. But anyway, uh, more on that later. Uh, guys, take it all y'all. Take it easy. Have an awesome night, and we'll see you here on the next one. So good to see you, Greg. Man, good to see you as well. Zach Hall as well. He's an OG as well. We had a lot of OG guys in here. Let's go back. You know, it's like I feel like y'all were somewhere secretively and we're like, hey, let's go say hey to you know, FTG. <laughs> anyway, yes, stay safe, Greg. Y'all take it easy. I'll see you here in the next one, guys. Peace out.